Hello, and welcome to Bearing in Mind Beer Reviews. And today we're going to begin a series of uh, Lambic beers from uh, the brewery, which is called Lindemans in Belgium. Uh, we're going to look at five different fruited Lambics, and then finally we will look at their Faro, which is a, uh, a sugared Lambic. And I'm going to look at them in order of alcohol strength, just uh, for no reason, except that we're moving up the scale. These are all very, very low alcohol. The uh, first one will start out at 2.5% alcohol, in fact. Uh, Lindemans is located uh, uh, a few kilometers outside of Brussels, and they are well known for their lambics and their uh, artisanal gins, which they make as well. Uh, they've been going since 1822, and they're now in their sixth generation of family brewers, uh, and so quite a, quite a history. Um, they're most famous for these fruited lambics, but they also make a few other styles that are considered much, uh, much more highly, I think. Um, in, in any case, lambic is a beer which uh, undergoes what's called spontaneous fermentation. Uh, in other words, it's not inoculated with uh, yeast, uh, as uh, most beer is, to produce alcohol and flavors and aromas. Um, what happens is the, the uh, beer is brewed, often uh, uh, combinations of barley and wheat, uh, and, and the, after the wort is boiled and cooled, uh, they take it up to uh, a higher area up higher in the house or the brewing area and spread it out into some shallow cooling trays. Uh, uh, the Dutch word is cool ship and in English it somehow just become a folk translation, cool ship. Um, these are large, uh, very wide cooling trays and the, the uh, cool, the wort is set up there to cool overnight and the windows uh, dormers are opened and the wild yeast floats in and inoculates the wort. Uh, and the area around Brussels has a uh, concentration of uh, very strong wild yeast. Uh, the most commonly known one is called Brett or Brettanomyces. And uh, it's a wild yeast. And so it comes in on the wind with maybe some other microflora. Um, and then after one night, it's put into fermenters, uh, into lar very large uh, wooden barrels called foders. And it's fermented for about six months there. Uh, some places use foders. Uh, and for example, Rodenbach is very famous for having a lot of foders. Uh, and others use stainless steel and throw in wood chips to provide the, the wood atmosphere, the wood uh, effect on the beer. And after, after about six months or so, uh, it is matured in, uh, for an additional six months. And then uh, some lambics are bottled and others are blended to make uh, what's called goose. And goose is a blend of young and old lambics. So they may take a one-year-old lambic and blend it with a three-year-old lambic and and uh, try to create some interesting flavors. Uh, this is the real magic, I think, of, of uh, uh, making an interesting beer, uh, very similar to what winemakers do. Uh, the wood is also similar to what winemakers do as well. But blending, it's a kind of a, a point where the science leaves off and the art takes over, or maybe we could say craft takes over, uh, deciding when and how much of each part of the, the age of the lambic should be put into another age and, and that's that sort of thing. Um, and so uh, Lindemans produces a variety again of fruit lambics and they also produce some other beers you may be more interested in. The fruit lambics are not terribly exceptional uh, in quality. They're interesting, but not the best. Uh, if you can find their Goose uh, Cuvée Varnay, or one they make with Mikeller, which is called Spontan Basil, or uh, their Old Lambic. Uh, any of those three will give you a very different experience, I think. Okay, 
So uh, this is just a brief introduction to Lindemans, and now we're going to move on to the first of the uh, fruited lambics. Okay, and so now let's take a look at the first fruited lambic from Lindemans, and this one is called Pesh Lambic. And the uh, name is Pesheres, and Pesh uh, means fruit, uh, uh, peach in French, but they're doing a play on uh, Pesheres, which means sinner, and you can see uh, you can draw whatever conclusions you want from this uh, young woman holding out a glass toward you on the label. Um, pêche, so it means peach, and it actually also means fish, fishing in uh, French as well. So this is a fruited lambic at only 2.5%, and on rape beer, this one has 1,891 1, ratings, an average rating of 3.36, 63 percentile for all beers, and 28 for its style, which is lambic or fruited, so not terribly high. Okay, so clearly it's, uh, it's got a peach, peach concentration in it, and I think we should give this one a go now. It's got the uh, foil top. Okay. These are small bottles, uh, 250 milliliters, and so not terribly, terribly big, but probably enough. Okay, so what do we got? What do we got here? It's a very clear gold with uh, uh, quite a bit of carbonation floating up here, and a lot of it sticking to the glass, as you can see. Uh, these bubbles will eventually peel away and produce this half a finger of white foam at the top. Let's take a look through here with the light. Okay, so it's very clear and constant streams of carbonation floating up. Aroma. We get some sweet peach right away. Something a bit funky, a bit barnyardy. Maybe something citrusy, very light citrus peel, maybe. But the peach in the barnyard, the uh, it's almost manure-like uh, note, is is uh, are the two strongest features of the aroma. Kind of tart fruitiness, a little bit of cardboard in mid palate, and the fruit kind of sticks up to the top the palate and then in late mid palate it kind of fades out slowly this is tart and kind of tasty the unfortunate the flavors fade a little too quickly um, the lambic character is minimal here it's it's there but it's not uh, the primary feature the main feature here is uh, peach and uh, A seasoned peach drink almost okay well once again this is uh, called Lindemann's Pesh Lambic Pesheres 2.5 percent uh, you if you're interested in Lambic beers uh, you may not be so excited by these but uh, they're they're a nice uh, change of pace I think quite refreshing very light uh, uh, very sessionable you might say Okay, well that's it for today. Uh, we're going to move on to another Lambic in our next video. Okay, another Lindemann's Brewer. So please uh, subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment if you like. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>